Ready, go. Ready, go. So frontal view here. Go. So as you can see, early part of the back swing, yeah. you're turning, your right knee is uh, flexed like this. Uh -huh. So you're not letting the pelvis go that way. Yeah. So initial turn, after that, you are dropping this side. Sure. That's why you are coming to uh, this position here. Okay. Instead, turn and then okay. stand okay. on the right side here. But one thing you have to remember is that the, mm -hmm. the swing plane is inclined here. Okay. So as we move, we have to move everything pretty much along the swing plane okay. instead of going flat here. Okay. So this turn uh -huh. about the vertical axis mm -hmm. is not really matching with the motion along okay. the swing plane. Actually, the turn should be about this axis here, okay. not this one. That means you have to have image of uh, the axis here. Uh -huh. Although the hand motion plane and then the swing plane, these uh, the club uh, head motion plane, uh -huh. these are not having the same uh, slope. Yeah. But mm -hmm. in general, it'll be just simple to think that uh, we are moving everything along the swing plane. Okay. But what we are moving is the club head here. Mm -hmm. In order to move the club head nicely around, then your your hand has to uh, actually keep enough uh, wrist motion and the forearm motion here. So instead of having reached wrist here, uh -huh. and then the hand staying low, club head staying relatively high, yeah. rather, your goal is to move the club head around. Okay. So you have to let the wrist and the forearm move this way here. Okay. Because your goal is to moving the club head, not your hand, not turning your body a lot. So pay attention to the club head motion. Uh -huh. You need to use your wrist and forearm a lot more than what you currently do. Okay. Okay? So you see, in this position, your butt is sticking out like this. Mm -hmm. Turning, you are turning the pelvis quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So this is when you have, uh, we are top of action here. Mm -hmm. So your, your arms are turning yep. quite a bit, mm -hmm. but you don't have much wrist cock here. And then in this position, now in the downswing, what you try to do is uh, you just try to hit the ball with uh, your muscles mm -hmm. here. Mm. You're dragging the club. Yes. That's and swing here. So your legs are even, your left leg is not really pushing that, uh, the ground. Okay. But pu pushing is a different story, but uh, it's not extending that well. It's standing on the lead side like this. Instead, what you're happening is, again, okay. you're going this way. So from this position, you're coming down this way and turning like this with the chicken wing yeah. posture here. Down the line view. Go. You see, up to this point, you are letting the curl head go here, mm -hmm. then suddenly you are lifting this up here. Okay. If this is more curl head centric, then you have to let the curl head go around your body all the way here. And you will adjust to your hand position. Mm -hmm. But what happens is, you, initially you are just uh, turning here, mm -hmm. spinning, and from there, you try to lift up everything. Instead, okay. let, the, let the club head go around your body. Okay. The goal is to move the club head around your body. See? So this side is uh, yeah. coming down here. Yeah. So you have almost a stuck elbow. Yeah. At, this, at this position, you see where the right elbow is. Way inside. Yeah, yeah way too inside. Mm. It's because you are dropping this side too much. Okay. Instead, if the goal is to move the club head around, then bring the club head all the way here yeah. and simply throw the club head around. Then no need to. Okay, just throw it. Yeah, your goal is to release the club head. Okay. So it's important to be able to release the club. Okay. That way you can keep the lead arm fairly extended mm. on, on this side here. Okay. Yeah. So naturally, the club head motion here, and then mm. swing this way, and then even the club head is now going this way here. Yeah. You're not continuing this motion here. And then the, 
Paris slides, slides quite a bit here. Yeah. So the key is, first uh, we need to uh, mobilize the forearm and wrist here. Okay. So let's start with the... We should stick here. Um, stay here. Use one hand here, right. your right, right, right arm here, and then the left hand is on the upper arm here. Uh -huh. Then this will limit the arm motion here. Okay. And then what you need to feel is uh, the motion of the white ball here. Okay, relax and then swing here. Your goal is to bring the white ball here. Okay. So have, you have to have a good image of the white ball motion here, all the way. It's not about turning the body, okay. lifting this, rather, here's the inclined plane here, along this plane, you're moving the okay. white ball around. So if you really have the image of uh, moving everything pretty much along the swing plane, yeah. you cannot okay. turn excessively here. Okay. Okay. So, so with that, go up here and then swing, swing, swing. Your goal is to throw the white ball. Mm. So you have to intentionally use the, the forearm and wrist quite a bit. Okay. And also, it's not using your right arm to bring this up, or use the body and then throw around. Keep swinging, keep swinging. Ah, 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 here. You are dropping the clavier uh, too, too much this way here. You have uh, that intentional dropping. Yeah. So let's go slowly. Slowly turn, turn the body and then, no, this is too, too low here. You, you have to bring the club this way. Can you see the head here? Yeah. Shouldn't be this one here. Shouldn't be this one here. Okay. You have a tendency of this right now. Okay. This here. Yeah. When the, the head position is correct, the downswing is really simple. Okay. You just reverse the direction and then let it go. Okay. But if it's a low, naturally you have to drop this side. Okay. Okay. If it's a high here, then you come this way, okay. severely outward swing plane, okay. or you have to pull the hands quite a bit inward oh, yeah. to compensate there. Okay. So the head position is really important at the top here. Okay. So again, go slowly to the top. Yeah, this is what you want. So pretty much along the shoulder line here. Okay. okay. But not yeah. this way. Okay. It's a crossover. Yeah. Going this way. Okay. So as you swing back and forth, uh, still uh, you 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 just you right. even with this slow motion, right. you use the arms. But rather, if this is a brush and you are drawing a line here, the the canvas is uh, kind of around your body. So you are drawing a line on the canvas here by using the end, right? Instead of just lifting this up here, you have to draw the line around and go to this position. So use the body as much as possible to, uh, yeah, and then swing down. Continuous motion, continuous motion, swing. Mm -hmm. And then on this side here, on the way down, intentionally try to let it go. Yeah, almost flipping it. Yep. Yep. So the same thing. In the backswing, you also have almost a similar. The backswing is not that fast compared to the downswing. So it's not really a lot of flipping, but still you have similar motion. So here, go up here and then let it go, go up, let it go, go up, let it go, go up, let it go. But when the club head position is reasonable, uh -huh. it'll be still above the swing plane, okay. but uh, on the average, uh, about 20 centimeters above the swing plane. If you keep the club head position there, mm -hmm. then downswing motion really simple. You okay. just reverse the direction and then let it go. Yeah. But if it's uh, higher than that, relatively simple, or lower than that, yeah. you have to compensate. Yeah. 
So make the curly head motion as simple as possible. Mm -hmm. Ah, you dropped it. The second one, you dropped it. So still you have a little bit of resistance here. First of all, let it go. Let it go here, but to the right direction here. So you have to let it go a bit more, then it will, you will be able to keep it here. But when your arm is a re resisting here, either it's pushed this way, or you tend to intentionally drop it here. So to feel the motion, feel the motion of the white ball here. All the way, all the way, all the way. Of course, you have nice slowdown here. Yeah. You need nice slowdown, but slow down here, slow down here. But the motion is coming from the momentum here. Okay. Let it go all the way, uh, about here. Okay. Not too high, not too low. And also, in this one here, if your hand is dragging this too long, then still you have this problem here. You have to let it go. And then pronation of the forearm. Oh, yeah. With this, you will be able to nicely throw this here. Your goal is to uh, throw the head okay. toward the target, right? Ah, this time you just uh, this. Yeah. feel the feel the motion of the club head. Oh, it was dropped. The third one, it was dropped. A swing, swing. Yeah, yes. Keep the keep the white ball move. Yeah, yeah. Now it's better. It's better here. So you are now more aware of uh, the motion of the yeah, white ball here. So it's not about your body going somewhere here and dropping this here, or try to lift the arm here. Rather, it's a motion of the white ball around. Yeah, when it has enough speed, it'll keep moving along that line. So, mm. really focus on the motion of the white ball. Okay. And also, uh, one thing, even at the end of the downswing, uh -huh. do not try to hold it. Oh, yeah, Let it go all the way, the ease, finish, and then start the okay. backswing. So because both are transitions. Yeah. Backswing to downswing, backswing to downswing, or downswing to backswing, these are all transitions okay. that you don't rush. Now, use the left arm only. The same thing here. But this time again, you have to really release it here. Okay, so it can keep moving all the way here. Let it go, let it go. Here, if the release is late, then your body turns too much before the curve responds. If you use the arms too early, then before your body is moving, then you go this way here. You have to time this real well here. Yeah. So that's why, again, you have to feel the motion of the, the ball here. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Then go here, throw, throw, throw. Always, what's important is, if, you know, feel the motion of the white ball. Let it go particularly, so have the feel of uh, you are letting the, the white ball go in front of your hands on, on this side here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's release. That's full release. Then in order to make this a bit easier, in order to make this a bit easier, you have to have actually good wind up here. Wind up, then you will be able to use the shoulder turn and throw. Okay. But if you don't have enough wind up, then you tend to use arms here. Okay. 
okay. arms here. Okay. So wind up and then throw. Okay. Actually, it's too short. You see, when you use the right arm only, then the, the ball goes this much, right? Then you should have a similar position with the left arm only. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then you will be able to use the backswing, keep a good backswing using the shoulder turn and then throw, release. Yes, yes. Yeah, so the, the speed is coming from the shoulder turn using these big muscles instead of using the arms here. So if you go short here, your, te your tendency is turn here and try to put a lot of effort here. Uh -huh. But actually, uh, we covered this in uh, both the level one and level two, but um, uh -huh. the, in terms of maximum effort yeah. of the body, it's about here. The oh. torque, the torque you generate by using the ground becomes the maximum around the EDA, uh -huh. or even before EDA here. EDA means uh, the lead arm is paired to the ground, right? Before the disposition, uh -huh you maximize the torque that you generate by using the ground. For the muscles, the peak torque occurs around the ED or slightly after that. Uh -huh. So basically, when the lead arm is paired to the ground in the front of you, uh -huh. this is uh, the maximum effort point. So instead of down here, your maximum effort occurs here. So uh, when I uh, uh, divided the downswing phase, we had the early downswing phase and late downswing phase. Early downswing phase is from the top of action to EDA. Mm -hmm. Late downswing phase is EDA to impact. Mm -hmm. This early downswing, during the early downswing, you are increasing the effort. Okay. You're developing good uh, amount of torque using the ground. Your muscles are also generating good amount of torque, yeah. and the doors become maximum around here. So you have to increase the effort here and the maximum effort around yeah. here Using that, you have early acceleration and then let it go. Okay. But if in your intention you try to swing hard on this side, okay. that means you're putting the effort delayed. Yeah. That's why your angular velocity peaks in the downswing yeah. will be delayed because you have the image of putting a lot of effort mm -hmm. later at impact. But actually, this is the maximum effort point. That's why particularly the shoulder turn is important. Yeah. From here, using this motion and throw okay. instead of drag yeah. all the way and then try to. So keep early effort. Now use both hands. And then here, what's important is again, this is light, so you can easily manipulate, but however, still with this, you should be able to let the head go. So on this side, in the follow through, the, color, the head will go ahead of your hands. Okay? Yes, yes. So for that, you have to have good acceleration on this side. Yeah, so practice this here. <clears throat> Let it go. Like that. Yes. So you need to have uh, early effort yeah. and then accelerate the club. And then the club will reach maximum speed around impact. Okay. With that, hit the ball. Okay. Instead of put, try to put a lot of effort yeah. So the effort as comes from here. So using good shoulder turn, shoulder wind up. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh. So keep uh, enough okay. wind up. From there, <coughs> instead of using the arms in here, oh, yeah. <coughs> turn the shoulders. Oh. Yeah, so when you have early acceleration and then let it go, then your leg will be uh, oh, yeah. more extended automatically. Because you are not really dragging it all the way, but yeah. using the speed here and try to throw here, okay. then your leg will be extended more. Mm. Now, Use the right arm only. 
similar similar motion. So use this and then throw. Ah, the arms still here. You try to hold it with the arms. No need to uh, worry about. Because go up here, go up here. Just use the body. Still, this is not in action here. <clears throat> then throw. So as you do this, you are not letting the club go. Okay. Just this motion here. Okay. As if you are drawing a sword yeah. from the shit. Right? <laughs> yeah. So when the club head moves that way, yeah. then you let it go too early. Just to hold it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah, then the last one, again, you have to have a good wind up and the throw. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Always the throw is coming from wind up and then unwind. Yes, yes, that's better. Oh, okay. And then with that, your right elbow is going in front of your body okay. instead of st stuck here. Yeah. So in theory, what happens is um, when you use the shoulders here and then accelerate the curve early on here, and the elbow goes in front of the body, then nothing will obstruct the motion of the arms and the club. But if it comes here, your, your body obstructs the arm motion, right? Now use both hands, both hands. Again, keep good, wind up. You remember, it's, you're not letting it go this way. So, so again, go up here. Okay, on this much. If you let it go here, then that means you're using the wrist too early. Yes, yes, yes. And then you go to let it go, extend the left arm, okay. let it go, instead of pulling in this way. When this is not fully extended, yeah. when you're not letting it go, you tend to drag it in, but let it go. And then on this side here again, as in the back swing, as we go this way here, the hand was uh, going higher, right? Yeah. The same thing on this side, the swing, and then the hand goes higher here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with that, you are letting the head go around. Yes, yes. Mm. And then the last one, you did not have enough wind up here. The speed is coming from the good wind up here. Yes, yes, yes. That's, uh, that's better, that's better. Now, let's just have a continuous swing back and forth. Go up and then swing, go up and swing. But make sure you are, you are releasing the, the stick. Yes, feel the motion of the head. Back swing can be a bit faster. Back, back swing can be more, uh, back swing faster. Let it go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so currently, uh, at the end of the back swing, your stick position is really good. Okay. Let me record this. Okay. So continue swing. And then try to swing with the, the shoulder turn okay. instead of using the arms. Okay. Okay. All right, ready, go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, release, 
release the clip head. Yes. Now, look at this. Ooh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Release. Release the clip head. Yes. But still, at the end of the downstroke, you tend to turn this way yeah. too much. That's why your foot has to turn this way. No need to do that. Because okay. if your goal is to throw the clip head, develop enough speed using this the throw and the stand on the lead side. Here. Instead of pulling this in here, let it go and then stand on the lead side. Yeah. So again. Yeah, yeah, like that. Then your, your foot does not have to uh, oh, yeah. turn quite a bit. Okay. Again, using good backswing. That's better. That's a lot better. Yes. The reason why you, you had to uh, turn quite a bit is because you have a stuck elbow here dragging this. Oh, okay. In order to make the space here, your body has to slide uh -huh. with this throw and then your body turns quite a bit. Oh, okay. But if you let the elbow go in front of your body here, the swing and throw, then naturally you will be able to stand on the lead side. Okay. Then you don't have excessive push with the lead leg. Okay. Also off time. Just a swing through and then stand on the lead side. Yes. And then the same, the same thing goes to the back swing. So if you can swing and stand on the lead side here, back swing can be the same thing. You have a somewhat active back swing here and the stand on the trail side. Stand on the trail side here and then swing and then this side. Then what happens is you stand on the trail side and you stand on the leader side. Between these, you have good unweighting. Okay. So, you know, at the right time. Hmm. And then, big difference now is your backswing is now one motion backswing yeah. instead of turn and then try to lift it. Because you're just following this pattern, then your goal is to move the white ball around, so you don't have to have two stage action. Okay. Again, release. Mm -hmm. so now let's go to the uh, go to a stage three of the two step swing drills. So let's introduce the trigger motion, bring it back, and the swing. That trigger motion will give you a good active backswing. Toward this side, yeah. Yeah. And then, again, the goal is not to turn the body a lot and dragging here, but developing good speed here and then throw here. And then throw the, the white ball toward this, this direction. Yeah, so that you don't have to turn uh, this way quite a bit. Yes, again. Mm. And even in the trigger motion, your goal is to move the club head, not about the hand here. So feel the club head motion here and then here, here. So always you are moving the club head here. So you have to uh, use the wrist to make sure the club head is moving correctly. Okay. Always the club head centric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, this time it was too high. The, when you just uh, go this way, the club head goes too high. Make sure you are moving the club head around, even in the trigger motion. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Now the flow is uh, really good. Then you eliminate all the unnecessary movement. Yeah. So the goal is just to move the club head around okay. and then establish good uh, swing plane okay. and the hand motion plane here. Yeah. Hand goes a bit higher here. Hand goes higher here, so you let the clavicle go around your body. But if your hand stays low, yeah. the clavicle goes high, yeah. then this causes a lot of trouble. Okay. Because you are not really moving the clavicle, you are moving the hand and the forcing the club yeah. to move certain ways. Okay? But if your goal is to 
move the club head well and then generate good amount of speed here, right. you have to let the club head go around your body. Right. With that, your hand goes a bit higher here, the hand goes a bit higher here. Yeah. Yeah. So do not force the club, but respect the uh, motion of the club and then move the white ball. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, the flow is now good. So give me three, three cycles. Okay. I will record. Okay, ready, go. Mm -hmm. the, at the end of the vaccine, the clever tends to drop now. So maintain the motion here, okay? Go. Mm -hmm. So now here. You see here? Yeah. Need to maintain the club. Oh, okay. First dropping here. So going to this position here. Hands are going higher and the clip head is dropped here, but rather keep the clip more this way here, okay. along the shoulder line here. Oh, yes, yeah. so, the so your hands are going a bit too high and then oh. you're dropping, okay. but keep it a bit lower. Keep it a bit lower. And mm. So maintain a you know, good plane here, okay. continuous motion. So there's no reason to introduce a lot of uh, off-plane motion. Yeah, yeah, like that. That's better. Then the clever head motion becomes really simple. Yeah. All you do is just uh, moving along this path and then reverse the direction and let it go. Yeah. No need to do anything here. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and particularly with that, yeah. you can also turn shoulder more. Because with the shoulder turn, you can promote that motion. But when you drop the clever head, what happens? You stop the shoulder motion. And then, yeah, introduce armors. That's why you have a two-stage vaccine motion. So in one motion, go around, turn around the body, swing, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That's a lot cleaner now. So this way, you can eliminate all the unnecessary movement. Establish swing plane, good swing plane. Let me watch from here. In the back swing, yeah. try to stand on the right leg. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. In the back swing, instead of uh, the, the pelvis going towards the target, yeah, try, to, try to almost uh, put your belt buckle against a, a wall or something. Yeah. And go to a slight reverse peel posture. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then you can really use the, these big muscles on the way down. Okay. Ah, it dropped. The clip is dropped. So again, have more active, uh, active uh, pro oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the forearm and the wrist motion, and the throw really throw the clip head around. Yeah. Ah, dropped. It's a bit too low. So on one hand, you're going this way here. Yeah. That doesn't mean you're going this way here. Rather, oh, mm. okay. so your, your spine axis is, uh, your spine axis is uh, slightly pointing this way here. So this doesn't mean you're going backward like this. It's an extension. So, so here, just a turn around here. And then, so when the, this, is a, this motion settles, yeah. then you will be able to use the body a lot better. Uh -huh. 
and then no need to intentionally manipulate this. Because you, if you just turn and let it go, the automatic will go to this position. Okay. So the, you have a good connection. Good connection. Oh, if you drop that way, it's a too, too low. The turn around, it's more going this way. Hmm. Oh, yes. Like this. So, so this uh, right shoulder girdle motion is really important. Go to this position here. This is what you need. Okay. So you feel tension here. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a, this is a good sign. When you feel oh. tension, that means the muscles are elongated. If your backswing motion is <laughs> if your backswing motion is too easy, yeah. that means that you are not preparing the muscles that way. Yeah. Then when. You have a good extended uh, or elongated muscles here. The those muscles are used in, on the way down. Yeah. And remember, you have a good, good acceleration on the way down here. So early action here. But this early action is not letting the club go away. Rather, throw a sword from the shit. With that, you have active acceleration using the speed and simply let it go. But if you try to put a lot of effort in the follow through, then you tend to uh, have a late onset of uh, peak angular velocity in the downswing. Yeah, that's, that's good, yeah, that's good. Yeah. The speed is coming from these muscles. The leg muscles and these muscles. So uh, now you're using the muscles uh, different ways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then when you feel tension, that means that you're, you are coiling your body and you are building the tension. <laughs> yes, yes. So then uh, this the sh right shoulder girdle motion becomes really important here. So if you use the one arm here, yeah. stay on the mat. Okay, then you're going to this position here. Yeah. So still the elbow is in front of your chest instead of going this way here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah going, to, going to this position. Oh, okay. If this goes back here, then it's hard to control the head motion. So if you want to stabilize the head motion, the elbow stays in front of the chest here. Okay. Your, el your chest is pointing slightly upward. And then you have good right shoulder girdle motion here. This actually gives good tension here. Okay, you feel that uh, you're loading here. From here, there you go. Oh, yeah. Then you can have an early acceleration here and the release. <laughs> yeah. So the same muscles are used in the downswing. At the end of the backswing, you have to slow down this motion. Oh, yeah. So then you engage these muscles here to slow this down. That's why the tension builds here. And then using the same muscle, you're going down here. So now stage three again, trigger. Yeah, so try to build the tension in the trunk. And try to bring the head a bit higher at, at the end of the backswing. No, no, no. At the end of the backswing, bring the head a bit higher. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. That, that alignment is a lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how you, you uh, use your muscles. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, this motion actually gives a simpler spine motion. Uh -huh. Spine mainly turns here, rotates. But when you have this motion, and you have a lateral uh, flexion of the spine and then rotation all together, so you're kind of grinding the, the discus here. But when you just uh, turn around, when you go to slide reverse view posture here, it's a simply rotation yeah. about the axis here. So spine motion is a lot simpler here. And then using these muscles and then let it go. But when you go here, or sometimes here, then uh, I can feel uh, the sensation here. It's a grinding the 
the disk. So again, so it, always uh, in the swing, the key is moving the, the head around. Yep. Now I have the image of uh, having a, a dirt or a gum yep. sticking on the head. Uh -huh. You want to shake it off. Uh -huh. So you know, you know to shake it off, you have to develop a speed here okay. and then let it go, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So almost like a wrist snap. So when you have good wrist motion here, you don't have to turn the body too much. Mm. When, when, your body turns, uh, when your body turns quite a bit, that means you are still dragging quite a bit. But when you let it go here, then you don't have to turn the body that much. So again, shake it off. Yes, yes, yes. That, that dancing plane is really good. Yeah. Yep. So in your kinematic sequence uh, graphs, your wrist angular velocity was not that high yeah. because you were dragging here. But now having the image of uh, throwing, shaking, shaking off uh, the gum, yeah. okay, then you can promote a good wrist motion as well. So the goal is to develop good body acceleration on the way down here. Using that, develop speed, and then let it go, adding the wrist motion and then let it go. Oh. Yep. And then on the way down, you don't have to shift it this way too much. Oh, okay. So you have the tendency of shifting this, this way. But if uh, you have a good wind up here and then drop the side, uh -huh. then kick and throw. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So really, you need to uh, use your whole body, yeah. particularly these bigger muscles, yeah. to generate good speed. Uh -huh. And then on the way down, you have a early acceleration, but that's not letting the club go, but rather using the body wind up. Okay, during the back swing, you will load the muscles here. Yeah. Using the same muscles, start this motion here, and then draw the sword. Okay, using this action, have a good acceleration, add a wrist motion, and let it go. Okay. So when your body turns too much this way, that means you are, you are dragging quite a bit. Yeah. So if you are let it go, throw again, have the image of letting the head go in front of your hand on this side here. Okay? Yeah. Okay. And since you have the tendency of a wider stance and then sitting down, so narrow your stance quite a bit intentionally. And then see if you can swing. Maintain good, uh, good balance, overall dynamic balance. Okay. Do not open up here. Try to keep it relatively uh, close to each other. Okay. Now you have limited the uh, base of support, okay. but you still you have to use your body well okay. and then maintain good balance. Okay. Okay, intentionally have a, a bit of narrow stance. Swing. So part of the reason why you, 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 you want to go with the wider stance is that it will increase the stability. But Gobsung is not about stability, rather it's uh, about dynamics, yeah. right? So you have to experiment with the stance width. If it's too wide, then you tend to uh, just rely on spinning motion here. It's hard to have good vertical interaction. So you have to uh, maintain reasonable stance so that you can have both good vertical interaction and also horizontal interaction. And as, as you swing, as you swing, feel the, the tide as if you are 
riding a tide. Okay. You go to beach, you go to beach, and then uh, enjoy, uh, you know, swimming. Then when the tide comes uh, here, your body has to go up and down. So as you swing, go up this way here, and then go up this way here. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. So when you have that feel, that everything becomes a lot more natural. So you feel like you're swinging faster now? Yeah. <laughs> yep. So uh, again, as I mentioned uh, earlier, if the club is too heavy, yeah. then naturally we develop dragging pattern. Okay. So uh, since you used my club today, so it's uh, hard to uh, tell, but um, check your club. And if it's too heavy, then try to use a bit lighter one and uh, feel that uh, releasing yeah, motion, right? And if you can release from there, if you can go a bit the heavier one, that's yeah. fine. But uh, when you use a heavier club, then you tend to drag it. Okay. Yeah. So it's a releasing the club is really important. And then yeah, when you release, then the left arm will be fairly extended here, right? Instead of. Yes, yes. So swing and then let it go. But when you tend to drag, then you have a stuck elbow and then this motion here. So the pelvis slides to make the space here and then you're going this way here. But if it goes in front of your body and then you let it go, swing and then using the momentum here, you will finish this here instead of pulling it in. So throw and then the hand, hand goes a bit higher here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that way you can, you can continue the clavet motion, yes. Yeah, so again. And then you're a bit hesitating at the top here. It's one continuous motion all the way mm, here. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's better. Yeah, so when you have continuous motion, then the position of the white ball is better. Yeah. But when you have a little bit of hesitation, then it, you tend to drop it. Yes. And then here, when the trigger motion is a bit short, you tend to rush. But here again, if you are riding the, the, the tide, then up and then up and up here. So up and then up, up. Okay. So still you need to have a bit more time here in the transition. And then have a bit uh, faster backswing. Mm. In one piece, one piece backswing. Yep. Yep. So uh, practice this a lot. And then already your pattern has changed quite a bit. Uh -huh. So we eliminated the two stage backswing here. Now let's go to the rope swing.